Raise your hands if you covered those tomatoes we told you not to plant. Well, okay, it may not have made that much of a difference because the thing is with tomatoes, even if they didn't freeze, they probably stunted. And so it's gonna be weeks or even months before they recover. So you might just consider starting from scratch. And if you don't, don't come crying to me if your tomatoes aren't setting fruit this summer. I think that cold snap put Rob in a cranky mood. I know we're all frustrated and I'm tired of being cold. But now is the time that we're hauling out all the plants that have taken over the kitchen counters and our garage. My husband might actually get his spot in the garage back. But the soil is still so soggy, you can't really plant yet, even though that's what we're anxious to do. Oh me, oh my, what is a gardener to do? I've got the answer, weed. Get busy, you couch potatoes. It is just rude to let all of your weeds go to seed and infest your neighbor's gardens. Forget all that online advice you see about cornstarch, vinegar, or heaven forbid, salt. The best way to deal with weeds is to pull them. And while we actually couldn't find many weeds in Rob's garden, we went out to the alley to find some. Now is the time to get a hold of the shepherd's purse, wild oats, and wild lettuce. And I really like this little purple flowered weed. It smells good, but Rob made me pull it. So one of the big questions right now is, can I plant my containers? Well, frankly, I'm holding off a little bit. I'm waiting for my plants to acclimate to the sun. And then if it's getting cold at night and it's dropping below 50, frost cloth. Definitely hold off planting your sweet potato vine, begonias, and coleus. And I would think twice about marigolds, salvias, and zinnias. It's the nighttime temperatures that can still stunt them. Don't worry, just be patient, because once it truly warms up, they'll grow like weeds. That brings us to a question that Jennifer and I get asked the most. How do I kill bindweed? Well, if we had the answer, we'd tell you. It's not like we're keeping it secret or anything. It's just difficult. You can't poison it. You can't burn it. You can't bomb it. You can't smother it. It's just one of those horrible things. And I've got a little in this bed that I have to keep getting after. Our best advice is to pull it early and often. That way you'll get some measure of control. It's kind of like cold snaps and unpredictable weather, something you're just gonna have to learn to live with. But I'm most sure that bindweed and cockroaches may outlast us all. 